a one and only exclusive with Cuban leader Raul Castro's daughter. Marietta Castro is the director of the Cuban National Center for Sex Education in Havana. Local 10 News reporter and Havana reporter Hansovella joins us live tonight with what she had to say about gay rights and the future of U.S.-Cuba relations. Hatzel. And Kevin, it is precisely during that conversation about U.S.-Cuba relations where she articulates a message to the exile community, to Cuban Americans. She talks about that. She talks about her political ambitions, her father. But first, we talk about human rights. <laughs> this whole month, Cubans will be celebrating the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia. Leading the charge, Raul Castro's daughter, Mariela, who has become Cuba's champion when it comes to gay rights. But what about human rights? Que como va a haber derechos para los gays cuando no hay derechos humanos? I asked her how could there be gay rights when some argue Cuba does not respect human rights. Les quiero responder amablemente. She tells me she wants to respond politely. Que se informen que se despojen de odios y de prejuicios y de estereotipos. Talking about that issue, she says, people should be informed, get rid of the hate, the prejudice, the stereotypes. Now, she's talking directly to exiles. Lo que abran su corazón y vayan a descubrir y sentir la nación que les dio origen. Open your heart, she says, and go discover your country, your heritage. Coward! She wants exiles and Cuban Americans to reconnect with Cuba. There's a history there, she says, a history that wasn't the one you were taught. She adds, you have to draw your own conclusions. Mariela is about to turn 55. She's one of two children from Raul Castro's marriage to revolutionary Vilma Espin. Tienes bastante orgullo de lo que has hecho con Yo tu vida. Yo me siento muy bien de cómo he vivido. Up to this point, she feels good about the life she has lived. ¿Qué piensa tu papá de tu, todas tus cosas que has hecho? I ask what her father thinks of her work. La comprende, la apoya. Mi mamá se adelantó a lograr que él la apoyara cuando ella trabajaba en estos temas. He understands. He's supportive, she says. Her mother made sure Raúl Castro was supportive when she was working on the same issues. Que no me aprovechara de ser su hija, que no podía apoyarme por eso. Raul Castro, she says, always wanted her to find the best way to do her work without taking advantage of the fact that she was his daughter. We talk U.S.-Cuba relations. She thinks President Barack Obama accomplished what many U.S. presidents had not. Mientras haya bloqueo, Eh, el desarrollo para Cuba es difícil. While there's an embargo, Mariela thinks any economic development for Cuba is tough. She says Cuba remains besieged. Y vivimos siempre con un susto cada vez que cambia un presidente en los Estados Unidos. The Cuban people are always scared, she says, any time there's a new U.S. president, wondering how aggressive the new leader will be. Casi todos tenemos un familiar allá. Most of us have families in the U.S., so she wonders why there should be any obstacles in reuniting people on both sides of the Florida Straits. Cubans on the streets often speculate Mariela may be the future of Cuba. Ambiciones políticas. So, does she have any political ambition? Ser una excelente ciudadana participativa. She wants to be an excellent citizen, a participant, a contrarian, when change is needed in Cuba, she says. Pero nada, nada en específico. No, no, no me interesa. No. no interest, she says. No te interesa. When I ask about a specific political post, she is satisfied with the post as a member of the assembly, so she can continue fighting for her beliefs. In recent days, it has been reported that Mariela does not want to weigh in into, as to who is going to become president of Cuba, only saying that she feels there are a lot of folks who are qualified for the post. Let's also talk about a major event that happened this morning, the big May Day March, 7.30 in the morning. We were there as Raul Castro, the president of Cuba, and first vice president Miguel Díaz-Canel were also there waving to the crowd. This is a huge deal, not just internationally, but obviously here in Cuba throughout the island. Uh, likely the last time, uh, based on what we've reported before, that Raul Castro will be attending this because he has said that he is stepping down next Look at what happened, though, right before the march started. This man, 
out of nowhere, out of the massive crowd. He starts getting ahead of them, waving an American flag. Shortly thereafter, you can see uh, Cuban agents uh, dressed in plain clothing, able to grab him and then drag him away. At this point, we're not quite sure who he is or what kind of charges he will be facing, but obviously a big disruption this morning at the May Day festivities. Uh, we, of course, we're going to stay on top of this, try to track down who this man is. But for now, reporting live in Havana, Hatsovala, Local 10 News.